Good morning. Today we're going to do an oil change on a Harley Davidson Road King. 2050 MC full synthetic. Great stuff. One Harley Davidson oil filter. And you will need the Harley Davidson oil filter wrench socket. She's nice and warm. I'm going to drop the oil, remove the filter. Here's where the oil goes in, and here's where the transmission oil goes in. You got to make sure, I'm going to leave this on until I take the plug out, so the oil just don't drop into the pan quickly. It slows it down a little bit, and then I'll remove that, and the oil will flow and drain properly. With that, I'm going to get to the plug under the bike. And remember, there's two plugs under the bike. One for the transmission, and then the front one is for the motor oil. Remove the right one. I'm going to show you right now. All right, now with a quarter inch Allen head on my ratchet, we are going to remove this drain plug. Make sure you know the right one. Okay, I'm using the quarter inch. Nice and careful. All right, be careful not to drop the plug. Now, by not removing the oil fill plug, this oil ain't gonna gush out super fast. So we will have some control. It minimizes the mess. And she don't look too dirty. Now I'll move this cap. There we go, you see? Now I'll let that drain for a minute or two. With that, I got my Harley Davidson oil filter. I'm gonna pour a little oil in there and let it sit. It'll soak in nice. I like to put the oil in the filter so when you start the bike up, there's not like a dry spot for air. Catch that. I'm going to stuff a rag under this filter. Got a little screwdriver. Just to catch the first amount of oil that comes out, then we'll get rid of it. Now with the Harley Davidson oil filter socket you see how it has this cutaway that's for this crank sensor so you're gonna fit it in there and remember it shouldn't be that tight and there we go back it out Gotta just do a little at a time because that sense will drive you crazy. One turn, and before you know it, you'll be able to do it by hand. If you try to take too much, and the socket gets caught in there, now we can do it by hand. Now, with our rag there, it will catch the first bit of oil. There we go, get it out of there, get it up right. All right, now I got the filter. I'm gonna put some oil. I filled this up with oil and let it soak. Get my rubber gasket nice and wet with the oil so when you put this on, it won't be that much of a pain to seal. Okay, with two hands, start it up. You know it's going to be a little slippery. There we go. We got that. I usually take the tool and use that one flat at a time. 
and everything works beautiful. And without this wrench, you will not get this job done. All right, here's the drain plug. Put a little thread seal, it's like an insurance policy. This will not leak. And you don't need to wrench it on there. So with that, let me install it. Okay, now I'm gonna put the oil in there. I put the plug in the bottom and filters in. I take my little dipstick out, I put it aside. Put a funnel in place. And uh, let's put in two quarts to start of 2050. Here goes the second quart. I like to do the oil changes every between three, 3,500 miles. And, you, and your motorcycle will last forever. They say 5,000. Make sure she's in neutral. Like I said, they'll last forever. Take care of them. I don't want to overfill it. I like to put it in between those two lines. I'll show you. Now you can see your mark. I like it right in the middle. A little more. like right there, which is right in the middle of my mark. It's just where I want it. All right, I'm gonna check the oil one last time. All right, pull the stick out. You can see it's about halfway. This is where I like to see it, halfway on the stick. halfway on the stick so it took about three and a half quarts with a new filter any questions please ask and have a great day and ride safe